Hello everyone. Now we discuss about the lumbar vertebra. First of all, lumbar vertebra is the part of <coughs> posterior abdominal wall. The in skeleton or uh, the vertebral column, the lumbar vertebra is uh, show the lumbar curvature. So we can see, but we see in uh, skeleton four curvature: the sacral curvature, thoracic curvature, lumbar curvature, and uh, cervical curvature. And uh, all of this, the lumbar curvature is secondary curvature, and the cervical curvature also secondary curvature. We uh, now we discuss about the lumbar curvature. Lumbar curvature is secondary curvature, so it appears after birth. So it is convex anteriorly, and uh, the significance of this curvature this helps in uh, locomotion. The lumbar segment of the vertebral column is composed of five lumbar vertebra. Of this, uh, the four upper four lumbar vertebra are typical lumbar vertebra, and the lower one or the last lumbar vertebra is atypical lumbar vertebra. We all <sighs> know about the parts of a vertebra as we completed um, the thorax card uh, in thorax card we know about the thoracic vertebra a vertebra composed of body and vertebral arch it is lumbar vertebra so the body is large this is the significant point of lumbar vertebra and uh, we can uh, see the lumbar appearance in lumbar vertebra that means the body is larger and the uh, spine is quadrilateral and it has uh, no costal facet and that transverse process is not uh, marked by transverse foramen so these are the identical points of the lumbar vertebra in case of anatomical points we must see the uh, body is body lies anteriorly and arch lies posteriorly and the spine is directed backwards and the tapering transverse process is uh, directed transversely and why it is typical lumbar vertebra the Typical and atypical lumbar vertebra is uh, determined by the distance of uh, superior articular facet and inferior articular facet. This is superior articular process. The distance between superior articular process is greater than the distance between inferior articular process in case of typical lumbar vertebra. Now, we uh, come to the parts of this vertebra. The body, the body is kidney shaped or we can... Uh, say that the anterior posterior diameter is smaller than the transverse diameter and this shape is uh, known as kidney shaped and uh, the then vertebral foramen the vertebral foramen is larger and triangular then uh, in viva board you may be asked why the lumbar vertebral foramen is larger the answer should be the due to accommodation of the lumbar enlargement of spinal cord and this is uh, the study of central nervous system then uh, we discuss about the enlargement of spinal cord in grossly or briefly we can know that the lumbar enlargement of spinal cord occurred due to the lumbar plexus or due to formation of lumbar plexus this vertebral foramen or lumbar vertebral foramen is triangular and larger we have to know this then pedicle pedicle is the junction between body and the arch pedicle is short and which is uh, directed backwards from body to the arches this is lamina lamina are plate of bones which are uh, directed downwards and this is spine spine is quadrilateral in outline and which is directed backwards and the transverse process of the lumbar vertebra is tapering in case of typical an articular process there are superior articular process and inferior articular process this is superior articular process which bears superior articular facet which is directed backwards and medially and which is concave and the convex inferior articular facet is directed downwards and forwards which is also directed to laterally 
Now, some special features of lumbar vertebra. Lumbar vertebra contains some special processes, the accessory processes and mammillary processes. In posterior aspect of the transverse process, there is a uh, conical bony projection, a smaller um, conical bony projection, uh, which is known as accessory process. And there is also mammillary process, which is situated in the uh, posterior margin of the superior articular process. And this is the mammillary process. Now, in uh, Bhaibabut, invariably a question asks, what are the joints formed by two vertebra? And there are two vertebra. And uh, this in between two vertebra, there are intervertebral joint between the body of two vertebra. This is secondary cartilaginous in nature, which is connected by intervertebral disc. Then you have to know the formation of intervertebral disc, which is formed centrally by nucleus pulposus and peripherally annulus fibrosus. In between superior articular process or and inferior articular process, uh, there is a plain type of synovial joint, which is essential for the movement flexion and extension of vertebral column and there is a fibrous joint between the lamina of uh, succeeding vertebra now come to the relation the vertebral foramen the vertebral foramen uh, transmit spinal cord in case of thoracic vertebra but in case of lumbar vertebra we have to know some special terms the first lumbar uh, vertebra the foramen of the first lumbar vertebra transmit spinal cord and the lower margin of the first body of the first lumbar vertebra is uh, coincides with conus medullary then what is conus medullary it is the tapering end of spinal cord then you have to know the uh, lower four uh, the content of the lower four vertebral foramen of lumbar vertebra which contains uh, coda equina what is coda equina it is horse tail like structure formed by uh, the rootlets of lower four lumbar sacral and coccygeal spinal nerve and it also um, contains the meninges and subarachnoid space and subdural space now we have to know about the content of intervertebral foramen intervertebral foramen means the foramen between two vertebra we know about the superior and inferior vertebral notch this is superior vertebral notch and this is inferior vertebral notch the inferior vertebral notch is more conspicuous than superior vertebral notch in case of lumbar vertebra which is opposite to thoracic vertebra in case of thoracic vertebra the superior uh, uh, vertebral notch is more conspicuous than inferior but in case of lumbar the manner is opposite the intervertebral foramen transmit trunk of spinal nerve then you have to know the formation of a spinal nerve a spinal nerve is formed by union of ventral root and dorsal root of corresponding spinal cord segment and this is intervertebral foramen which transmit the trunk of spinal nerve then come to the attachment the first uh, lumbar vertebra gives attachment to anterior and posterior longitudinal ligament anterior longitudinal ligament and here is the posterior longitudinal ligament uh, side of the anterior longitudinal ligament it gives attachment uh, crura of the diaphragm and uh, here is the alternate manner between in uh, in case of left and right side the crura of right crust of the diaphragm arises from the upper three uh, lumbar vertebra and uh, the cura of left cura of diaphragm arises from upper two lumbar vertebra then attachment of the tapering transverse process the transverse process is, uh, corresp is uh, corresponds the coastal element in case of lumbar vertebra but the accessory process is corresponds the true transverse element 
the trans uh, tip of the transverse process is uh, gives attachment to the uh, lumbar fascia middle layer of lumbar fascia we know lumbar fascia has three layer the posterior layer of lumbar fascia gives attachment to the spine to the spine and the middle layer is uh, attached to the tip of the transverse process and the anterior surface of the transverse process is marked by a vertical ridge here is the vertical ridge and this vertical ridge gives attachment to the anterior layer of lumbar fascia so lumbar fascia are attached in vertebra in this manner this is posterior layer this is middle layer and this is anterior layer in between the anterior layer and middle layer it gives attachment to swas major muscle in between the middle layer and posterior layer it gives attachment to erector spiny and multifidus muscle If you ask the attachment of the spine, then uh, you have to answer that the spine gives attachment to the posterior layer of lumbar fascia, the interspinous ligament and supraspinous ligament, the erector spiny and the multifidus and the interspinous muscles. These muscles are deep muscles of back. And the lamina gives attachment to the ligamenta flaba. This is... Uh, fibrous in nature which is a uh, part of fibrous joint now come to the ossification of uh, lumbar vertebra lumbar vertebra uh, ossifies as all the vertebra the centrum is ossified from a primary center and neural arch ossified from uh, two primary center and uh, so the each vertebra ossified in three primary center and seven secondary centers now come to the <coughs> clinical importance of lumbar vertebra. Exaggerated lumbar curvature known as uh, lordosis. In case of lordosis, there is change in gait. The gait is known as uh, the gait of lord. Now another term is known as spondylosis. Spondylosis is the dislocation of uh, intervertebral disc. The dislocation of intervertebral disc is uh, the uh, is more common in case of uh, lumbar portion of um, vertebral column another condition may occur in the uh, lumbar curvature uh, is known as spina bifida when during development of uh, the lumbar vertebra if two neural arch are failed to fuse then the condition develops is known as spina bifida spina bifida is uh, more common in case of uh, lumbar part of vertebral column now come to the atypical lumbar vertebra uh, the fifth lumbar vertebra the body of the fifth lumbar vertebra is the largest and the uh, another feature is the distance between superior articular process is less than the distance between inferior articular process in case of typical lumbar vertebra the distance between superior articular process is uh, larger than the distance between inferior articular process the transverse process in case of typical lumbar vertebra the transverse process is thin and tapering in case of atypical or fifth lumbar vertebra the transverse process is pyramidal in shape these are the features of fifth lumbar vertebra so this is uh, not typical in type this is atypical in type now, all about lumbar vertebra if anyone have any query about lumbar vertebra or any question about lumbar vertebra then you can uh, comment in our comment box or uh, post in is a uh, study group